right, friends, it's been a while, but this is one of the reasons I wanted to get in front of you today. Check this out. Finally, after all the buzz we've been hearing about, a DGT SE from Paul Reed Smith, finally we've got something we can put on the walls. Everything that we've got in so far has been filling pre-orders since the beginning of the year. This is the first time I've had a chance to get my hands on one. And yes, I see what the buzz is about. This is an incredible, incredible guitar. As you can see, it is based on a Paul Reed Smith, typical double cut body shape, uh, in particular on the McCarty series. That's what the original DGT was based off of. Um, we've got proprietary DGT pickups. This is the S version. Uh, they've been through the TCI process, and I'll sh show you a little bit more of this. This is one of those pickups in particular that I think um, the process really stands out and shows off what it can do. The control layout, a little bit different. This is one of the things that uh, David Grissom wanted whenever he started working on the signature model with PRS back in the day. You have Two volume controls, one for each pickup, with a master tone control. The layout seems backwards to some people, but it makes such good sense to me because I've wired several of my Gibson and Epiphones in this way. Uh, this volume knob controls the bridge pickup. This one controls the neck pickup. In my style of playing, I like to have control under my little finger of the bridge pickup. It's where I'm spending a lot of my time and on those in-between sounds, it's usually, you know, I'm looking for neck with just a little bit of this dialed in to have access to this bridge volume knob right, you know, just so easy. I, I, think, it's, I think it's a great ergonomic move. Might not be for your style, for me it is a big plus has the molded trim bridge on here. Um, it is not like the USA version. This is, you know, another one of the differences here. But this is the same one that you're seeing on, you know, the S2s, the CE lines. Very nicely balanced, good weight, uh, mahogany body. They do have the flame maple veneer on top. It is a violin carved top, but it is much less so than you see on the core models. We've got the Rosewood fretboard, 10 inch radius as on the majority of PRS models. The neck carve, that was the interesting thing about this. If you frequent the forums, the guitar forums, this DGT carve in the core models is considered by a lot of people, me one of them, to be that Goldilocks neck the SE, I will say, it doesn't, it didn't quite wow me in the way the core did, but still, it, it has that feel. It is a little bit of a, a thicker neck than I thought I liked, but very, very comfortable, uh, especially when you get up high. The way that the neck transitions in shape from, from the nut up to beyond the 12th fret is... It, it just makes sense when you're playing it. Closed back tuners that you see on a lot of SEs, you don't get the locking tuners. That is one uh, thing that you give up when you get away from the core model. But you're also getting away from about $3,000 in costs for that as well. Let me give you a few clean sounds on this so I can, you know, and this will kind of give you what I think is the big selling point of this guitar. That is the uh, neck pickup on here. Really, 
and I'm playing that through a Mesa 535 combo. <laughs> There's this sweet spot where you get a lot of power out of most humbuckers. And it's generally, you'll find it in the 750 to 1K range. This, that, that power frequency is down a little bit lower. And To me, you can hear it kind of pop out when you when you dig in from and you can really you can feel it in your gut when that comes out. When I put it on the neck pickup, I think it's going to be even more obvious of that frequency popping out. The voicing of these pick, pickups are, are just incredible to me. Now, I thought the same thing about the core model, and usually there's, you know, a, a substantial drop off in some of the, you know, the finer points of tone between the core models and the SEs, which you would expect for the price. But this is, uh, I'm sure that the, um, the TCI process has helped them a lot in getting these pickups all voiced to where Paul's ears want them to be. And in most cases, you know, right where my ears want them to be too. I'm gonna to go to both pickups just for a second here so you can hear this. And as you can hear, it, in none of them, nothing is overpowering in any position. Uh, the bass and treble balance is really nice. There's clarity up in top and in the bottom, no matter where you go on this. Uh, just great job on these pickups. I've got to tell you that. And in addition to everything else, you also get the coil split. Pull up the master tone pot here, and here is the neck pickup. Okay, both of them together. I don't know what it is about me and G today, but that's where I am. Let's go to something else. And here's the single coil on just the bridge by itself. This is... just a 
another gorgeous addition to the SE lineup. And of course, you get them right here, more music and moreguitars.com. Give the more team a call, talk to them. There is not a more knowledgeable sales team in the industry than the people we've got here at More Guitars and More Music in Evansville, Indiana. Stop by and see us in person if you can and check out our new coffee. We've got a More Guitars coffee roast. It is superb. Talk to Rob. He'll hook you up. See you next time.